Ladies and gents, Dusty Thunder here with a Halloween spicy story. This one is actually a follower submitted Halloween spicy story. So title of this story is, am I the astronaut for pranking my pregnant wife with my friends at a Halloween party, resulting in her overreacting? I, male 25, am married to my wife, Nissa, female 24, who is currently super pregnant. She's about seven months along, and it has been a long road for us so far, but we've done good. My wife had put on a good 30 pounds of fat since getting pregnant. Oh, oh, hold on. There's enough red flags. Hold on. Let's see. I don't think anybody can say this person has put on this much fat since getting pregnant. You know what pregnant means, right? It means she's growing a f-ing human inside of her. A human who, coincidentally, is not made up entirely of fat. And it's very visible. She looks nothing like the woman I've married, but I told her it's okay as long as she tries to keep her figure after she gives birth. Okay. Uh, another round of red flags here, and also we're going to go straight into Brozo Town as well. You're right, Ascon One. This is a follower submission. OP, if you happen to be in chat, do me a favor. Do not claim your story. Don't do it. Don't do it. It'll be better for everyone if you don't. Just know this is not going to go well for you. While I understand that she's pregnant, and I don't judge her for that, it's just a true statement. My wife hates when I point it out or make any sort of comment about it. However, I know that if I gained the same amount of weight she did, she'd be making the some same comments about me. If you were growing a f-ing baby inside of you, I don't think she'd be commenting on the fat that you've gained. No, I don't. I, I do not think that is an accurate statement. You douche canoe. We attended a costume party this past weekend, and my wife wanted me to go as the cat in the hat, with her being thing one and having thing two printed on her belly. So we did that. But I had a little surprise for her that I had set up with my buddies. Everyone at the party, around 20 people, give or take a couple naysayers, dressed up as my fat pregnant wife with a massive baby bump, dark eye circle face paint, and messy looking hairstyles. Bull! Shit, you did not get 20 people to decide to be the worst humans on the planet and dress up as your pregnant wife, but made to look bad. There's no way that you know 20 people as shitty as you. There's just bullshit. Bullshit. It was supposed to be a funny Halloween prank to poke fun at her, but it was an absolute disaster. The second we walked in, she saw the first few costumes. She didn't seem to get the joke. But when I started laughing hysterically, tell her, telling her we found her village, she caught on that this was all for her and got a little butthurt about it, giving me side eyes and a silent treatment, of course. Like I said, it's not to judge her. I just don't think life should be taken that seriously. She's just fat. It is what it is. No, it ain't. So everyone was faking being pregnant at the party, quoting all the complaints we've heard from her over the past few months. I'm so tired, so hungry, I need this and that, blah, blah. And I honestly think it's the best prank I've ever pulled off. And although my wife looked pissed at this point, I think she got the joke. But I excused myself to the restroom so I could change costumes into my fat suit costume. And when I came back out, she burst into tears and started tearing into me in front of the whole party about how I'm a heartless bastard and how we're all insanely cruel to poke fun at a pregnant woman like this. It was incredibly embarrassing for her to act like that in public. And I told her as much in the car. I just got silence. I told her I was sorry that she got offended and that this was supposed to be a harmless Halloween joke. I've been told I'm a little tone deaf to people's feelings occasionally, so maybe this is all coming off as more offensive than intended, but in my mind, I thought she'd have a sense of humor considering how massive she's gotten. If I was walking around fat and pregnant, you can't, okay. (sighs) Looking like my wife, I'd expect her to make fun of me too. Now I've been sleeping on the couch and she barely talks to me in the mornings and evenings. The house is super uncomfortable and tense, and honestly, I feel more comfortable at work. Am I the astronaut here, or is my wife overreacting again? Again. Again, uh, I think we know how I feel. Um, Candy Thunder, why don't you come up and tell us what you think about this uh, this spicy pumpkin? Godspeed. I need OP to bend over. <laughs> yeah, this totally could be rage bait. I mean, like kudos to the person that sent it to us because um, you took time out of your day. We have your email. Um, we know that this, you don't get to be called a man. This piece of shit exists in this world who thinks that women have to be a certain size, who thinks that pregnancy is just an excuse to get fat. Um, So, I mean, we all know that this person actually exists. Whether or not someone could get 20 people to dress up like a pregnant wife, um, he might, depending on the kind of company that he keeps and depending on the person that he is. But 
I feel, I feel bad for women that have to go through pregnancy and hear shit like this. So I'm going to use this story for that because I've seen it happen. I've heard it from people that I know and it's so it just pisses me off. You guys already know how I feel about this. Uh, and when you're creating a life, like it, that's what you're doing. That's your focus. You're exhausted. You're tired. Everything hurts. It's a grueling process. And then at the end of it, you don't get a badge of honor. You push something out of a 10 centimeter hole. So no, yeah, like pregnancy is one of the hardest things that you will ever do. Also the most rewarding, but still it's not great. And yeah, I'm going to send him an email that's like, hey, let's meet up. I just want to talk. Mm. Because if you were able to come up with something this horrific, you're an ask on one. That's what I'm going to say. Um, but. I, uh, using it. Yeah. Using it. Uh, using it as a as a teaching moment. Use this as a lesson. Because right. if this is ex exaggerated, even if it's completely fabricated, it yeah, doesn't matter because there are people like that. I world, feel like right? this was a story. Um and like he probably got a couple people to dress up, but I do feel like he went over the top. Um, but I do feel like that he looks at his wife and what he sees as a fat person instead of somebody who's creating life. And who f cares? Like it's 2024. That it doesn't matter. Like inclusivity having, is. But having <laughs> a baby and staying skinny is not a good thing. No. That, that would not be healthy at all. It seems like he's got a fundamental understand, misunderstanding of like wh what pregnancy means. I think he has a funda fundamental misunderstanding of what happens with a woman's body when pregnancy happens. So I think a lot of men have a fundamental for sure. misunderstanding of what happens. For sure. Um, when your uterus, you know, expands to so many times its normal size and everything inside your body is squished. You have to pee all the time. You're hungry all the time, and then you eat, and you feel like shit. So, <sighs> why would she stay? That's my question. Why would she stay? Because she has to. Because there has. There's no other. There's no hey! other reason for someone to stay. We found the guy. He's on YouTube. Thank you, Angel, for muting him. But there he is. <laughs> there you are. Hi. Let's talk later, okay? Um, people like this. People that believe this. People think that pregnancy, like you're just doing them a service by bringing their baby into the world. That's how I feel about men that treat women like this when they're pregnant. Um, like I don't, if I was with someone and, and she was pregnant and that was my partner, I would take the most care of her in the entire world. Like I would literally be at her beck and call. Like I would do everything for her. I plan on doing that for our daughters if or when they choose to have kids and I would do that for any pregnant woman that walked into my life, whether I knew her or not, because it is hard. It's overwhelming. And then at the end of it, like I said, you don't get a badge of honor. You get a baby and you go home and that baby is very, it's hard. Like all of it's hard. Yeah. And in five years down the road, you have this amazing child and it all was worth it. But it doesn't negate the fact that it's hard. Like it is hard. And to not recognize that and to not see that and just call someone fat because they're creating life just makes me angrier than anything in this world because it's just utter f bullshit and it's the most like narrow-minded disgusting view of life that you could have and i have a i have a, a zeus lightning bolt uh that is just begging to meet your oh. i hope that any woman that is made to feel this way that is made to feel like she is less than um for gaining weight while pregnant understands that it's normal and what, a year after you have your baby, then look at it, then work on it whenever you're ready to work on it, if you want to work on it. So I, I imagine that, you know, if she's staying because she has to and she's just trying to get through through this, his involvement in the early stages of this child's life are really going to prove what kind of person <laughs> and father and husband he is. And that's going uh. to just enforce, reinforce further the fact that this asshole doesn't deserve a wife. Mm -hmm and a loving relationship with the child. And because of that, they're going to lose them.